something else I want you to know is that just try not to worry because you know the, the, there are going to be so many reasons for you to worry make sure to smile because for me I lost my shoes I, I left my shoes at home and then I was calling my husband honey please pick my shoes he didn't even know where my shoes were and then also my sister calls me in the morning is like one dress for the maids is missing and I'm like yo but you guys I was so determined not to worry and believe me it all you know came through for me hey guys welcome to my channel today i have come to talk about something amazing and that's about my wedding i want to tell you all the tea everything that happened in my wedding and that means the things that i loved and the things that i regretted but a little bit of them they were really not many because i can't change anything about my wedding my wedding was perfect so if it's your first time here you are welcome to the channel welcome to the family i do videos on faith relationship and lifestyle youtube is doing me amazing i'm gaining fans and the people who actually friends have reached out to me and they're like girl go on go on you are blessing us in you know in different ways and i'm so grateful so today i have come to share with you guys the things i think because i'm going to balance i want to talk about the regrets and also i talk about the things that i love but let's start with the good part so the thing that i loved so much about okay not even the thing that i love i just want to appreciate all my family my friends everyone is stood by us our you know community in church they stood by us during our wedding and i want to tell you i can't change anything about our wedding because it was amazing i loved everything about our wedding because god was at the center of it i saw god's hand in our wedding and whew, one thing i can assure you is that we prayed we prayed about this day i remember we would pray like just be like father come through for us do this but we resorted to just speaking in tongues for like an hour and go to bed every night we just started speaking in tongues because <laughs> we had prayed everything and words couldn't explain to god what we really needed so today i want to share number one thing that i loved about my wedding and that is my dress so i had three dresses but i want to talk about the first one and that was my gown getting my gown was not easy because i was so confused with what i wanted i thought because i'm a tall girl i just needed something like fitting that would really like you know exaggerate and you know show some calves and all that but um, when i really tried you know these dresses they really didn't give me the vibe until this lady talked to me there's um a penny bridles is where i got my gown from in ug thank you for making me look amazing uh penny talked to me and she picked this gown literally two weeks to the wedding after i toiled and she picked because i had a budget and my budget limited me so much when it came to my dress so she picked the dress and she was like i think this dress is gonna do good for you but it's quite you know expensive it's not it's it's like above your budget so when i saw it it was so amazing but it wasn't the first gown that i actually wanted there was a gown that i wanted and during fitting i just realized it was it wasn't comfy for me when i got this gown it was a comfortable i looked sexy i looked traditional you know i wanted to feel the vibe i actually realized i was wrong about round gowns cinderella gowns are amazing and my mother wanted such a gown for me and i knew my husband wanted it because i would ask him questions and would give me a hint and let's talk about everything that comes to the gown the shoes i got comfy shoes my shoes were really flat because i'm tall i don't want to be taller than my husband my shoes were comfy my jewelry was simple i just got myself earrings a watch and i got some bling i don't want to tell you how i got it but yes i looked so amazing and then my second dress because i wanted a fitting dress at the beginning i just made myself you know a cute you know fitting dress for cutting the cake and it was also beautiful and then my changing dress was gold in color that changing dress was i don't want to say you know sometimes dealing with tailors but that guy was good he made it so beautifully that's exactly what i wanted and i so much appreciate everyone who really helped me damali with my dresses and believe me the first thing that people look 
art is your gun the lady you it's your day you know they don't even care about the man it is you so make sure you look amazing secondly let's talk about my hair and makeup i love love my hair and my makeup let's say you really did a good job not not only did she like do the good beating she also came early she and her team really came early and uh you know worked on us on time there was nothing like hurry and she really did good work M maybe the only challenge that i had was like she was doing the makeup and going back and i needed maybe some makeup a touch up you know for the reception but she was like no my makeup was so good and yes it really kept me you know i went through with that makeup till the reception and everything though i got some girl to just change my lipstick and all that but she was really she really did good good she did good work my hair really looked amazing and um uh, girl as you can see i really looked fantabulous that makeup really did me good because i went to someone i'm really sorry to do this to do makeup and sweetie do trials don't just rush into a person to do your makeup go do a trial let them beat your face first before you actually pay them or consider them because someone did my makeup and literally changed me and i wanted to stay natural i didn't want to look different in my wedding and that's what vanessa did but trials are good of course you pay you pay like 50 60 sometimes and sometimes do your trials if you have like a pre-wedding shoot so that it can also like help you to see how you look on camera let's talk about the photographers oh my god so i i did photos with es photographers he is amazing and one thing i can assure you is that i don't regret ever using this guy he is so welcoming he is kind his team was so amazing you know it helped me with you know locating well you know the best place to take pictures from but just you know he made the atmosphere so easy you know do this, do this. i was just like mm, mm, like girl like it was family but it all happened because we had a pre-wedding shoot with him i just advise you like if before you even you know you know like get a photographer part with some money and also do a pre-wedding shoot with that guy because it helps you know what their work is all about and also you guys build a rapport a friendship so that at the day of the wedding you guys are like cool you know your person you know you, you just get each other so that's what really happened for me my photographer was so amazing yeah like when you want good pictures you have to put with some money because ug makeup and photography are very expensive that's one thing i can assure you but for me it's all really worth it and then i want to talk also about <laughs> guys my service providers my vendors were amazing i just want to say that generally when i talk about the cake the cake was yummy oh my god the person who made and made my cake and i loved it all the flavors everything and she was on time she was right there with us throughout the whole journey let's talk about the food so what we did with our food we didn't like go to a hotel we went to hotels when we were looking for a reception but it's like you have to buy their food and we didn't want that because it limits even when they are serving it limits your 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 what your guests so we went and we got this amazing man someone told us about him you just buy your food and then give him to you know to prepare and pay him for that service guys people ate in our wedding some of my husband's friends were not around and the guys because for them they work even weekdays they came and ate that's how much food we had and yo it was so amazing just because this is the most important like food is very people forget everything but food <laughs> people will not forget food in your function and then let's talk about the decor decor was amazing it was really really amazing i loved everything that i wanted i, I got it yeah maybe that's the wrong way that board the port was you know small it was really hard for us to you know dance me and having my gun was all over the place but deco was on point i loved it everything that i wanted my money did their job what else can i say i loved my girls i loved the you know when it comes to groomsmen and bridesmaid always you're gonna you're gonna have like <laughs> fallout scores but i loved them i had i had my sister i had my sister-in-law and i had my three amazing friends 
and my husband had it so his brothers literally most of the guys there were his brothers and his friend think two of his best friends too so we kind of blended and they were so amazing they were there first and we had an amazing day so what are the things that i regret in our wedding so the number one thing that i regretted was we delayed to get a church not that not really that we delayed the thing was we already knew where we wanted to wait from and that was where we worship from our church embassy of god but then you know parents you know wedding sometimes you think your wedding is just your wedding no even in prayers they evolved and they wanted us to do our wedding in anglican church but then that means we are delayed to book so when we went to book there was already a couple that had booked you know the time that we wanted so we had to like you know push back or like you know book the, the the morning sessions and that means we had our wedding like around nine by nine i should have been in church by 11 by midday done because that wedding was starting from midday i don't know like what time they were ending so that means i didn't really get to do like you know pics in the morning I, I, I didn't do like so much pictures like the dance you know the things that we want is girls when you're coming down and though i actually even want to take pictures with my, my my husband in the morning just to avoid but avoid maybe like you know time wasted but it's even good in ident because he got to see me for the first time his face was like i don't know his reaction was I don't know how he reacted, but I know he was happy. He kept on telling me, God, I was bursting inside. Yeah, but that was it. So make sure that if you're planning your wedding, book the church early. Get the right time. Time that is going to help you take pictures, you know, for your visitors to also arrive. Because me, I had my parents coming from Soroti, you know, very far. And yeah, like they had to, you know, rush and it's not really nice and then the thing that i regretted again like i want to say it again was i wanted like the dancing area but i didn't i didn't get the dancing area for 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 like my wedding and it kind of got me because i really wanted to dance it was it was a small space i didn't really get it killed my morale for dancing but otherwise everything was amazing you know the music was on point it's just the dancing area and then what else yes guys let me tell you this if you book into a hotel and you're sleeping in a hotel and then the next day after the wedding no after preparations pack everything pack all your belongings i actually was told that but i don't know how i forgot so we left some of our things in the in the hotel because if you leave your things they're actually going to charge you for that so we left our things and then we went my dress my changing dress everything was there because i thought for some reason like mm, maybe i'll go change that or i, I really do not know what i was thinking i just had a lot going on but they will charge you for leaving your things and that means after the makeup everything you pack your things if you have like family that's helping you pack your things and go with them you know once if not if you're not coming back to sleep there they will charge you for that so that's the other thing i regret not just doing that so i left my dress and i had like literally oh my god i thank god for my brothers-in-law like yo he had to one of my brother-in-law had to come back look for my dress everything kind of was a little messed up but he called my dress i didn't even get stressed because these guys <laughs> they were telling me what was happening but everything was doing really amazing and then uh guest list we planned a wedding of like 150 at the beginning but we had more than that but most of the people that we really wanted to be there you know they came through for us uh what else do i regret nothing else i guess i think that's so i didn't really have so many regrets in my wedding because for me everything really you know went on where we didn't have dates you know my family my friends stood by us and i want to tell you if you don't have friends and family and you know just build good relationships because you're going to need those people in our meetings people were always there we had family come through people who were very busy but they made sure to come back home my family was also sitting and preparing on how to come our parents didn't even give us hard time or like paying their bill to come for them they paid their bills and everything and i'm so grateful you know for that and i all thanks to god god has been you know the the big the beginning of all this good work so just make sure that 
you know if when you're planning your wedding put god first and i hope all this is helping you so guys i am so grateful for everyone who has viewed this video and i wish you the best if you're getting ready to be married and may god cover you and have an amazing amazing wedding and let him woo all the demons everything that wants to put your wedding and by the another thing i regret i didn't get to kiss my husband that's thing why they like can you not kiss your bride because the church we went to the priest told us we can't kiss and yo up to today tomorrow the next year the years to come i'm like yo what happened like i needed that part of it i needed to kiss my mind but it's you know they saved my makeup but yeah everything was amazing my wedding was top-notch amazing i cannot change anything about my wedding because even if you see the things that i'm regretting it's just like few things that are even not serious but make sure to go for counseling make sure you know because even up to now me and henry will sit and talk about the things that we counseled about because it's very important because that is the first stage you know when you are preparing to to wear this you know if you have a good charge good pastors you start by counseling for you to understand that this is a union these are two visions coming together you know this is you know a partnership because if you have two visions it's it's going to lead to diversions and diversions lead to divisions and you don't want that in your mind so guys thank you so much for watching this video i appreciate you and i love you with the love of god see you in the next video fam i love you